Hi, this is Glenda, and today I'm going to show you how I made this succulent soap embeds and also the soap in which I used it. I'm starting with some leftover soap that I'm using as soap dough. This came from the Agate Gemstone Soap, which I'm going to put a picture on screen and also a link to that video in case you missed it. And my reference picture were this. Uh, I took this at the hardware store by my house one day and I noticed how they seem to have these pink edges. So I remembered that I also had some pink soap dough or leftover soap. This was from a couple of soaps. The darker pink from the Valentine Teddy Beard and then the lighter pink was from the piping of this strawberry soap, which was also another soap that I had made for Valentine's. What I did was that I rolled a log or like a rectangular shape with a green, and then I put some of the pink on top and press it together. Later, I cut it into small portions, and each one of these portions is gonna be like a part, a petal of the succulent. Then to give it a rounded shape, I just had to roll each portion into my palms to make it also elongated. I noticed that the pink was a little bit too big, so I did have to trim some apart with my fingers. And eventually I did cut it with a knife, like you could see on screen. And then it was just a matter of putting them together. I'm not really sure if petals is what you call this so I'm gonna have to find out but I had made them long so that I will have room at the bottom to just squeeze them together and so that they will adhere to each other and once that was done then I started sort of spreading them apart the ones on the edges so they sort of resemble that flower how they looked in the picture Okay, I just found out that they're called leaves. Now for the second one, what I did was that instead of making a rectangular, I made it into a teardrop shape so that when I cut it, it already had that teardrop shape. And later, all I had to do was just flatten it. And some of them I had to round on first, but majority of them I just had to press them down to create that shape of the what looks to be like a rose succulent. To put these two together, I did make two smaller uh, leaves and then I started putting the color ones around it. A little bit overlapping the previous one in a similar way to how you will make a rose. And I just did it and repeated it until it looked about the size of what I wanted it to be. And in the end, this is what they look like. <laughs> 